Hi, this is Simon from Rudy Web Design. I'm going to show you how to add a Facebook like and a send button to your web pages. Uh, we're using WordPress, but this will also work in uh, HTML websites if you're using Dreamweaver. So I'm just going to navigate to the page that I want to add the like and the send button into, and it's a blog post which is for a new website that we designed for the Greyhound Inn in Sorgal. So if I want the like and the send buttons to appear in this area here. I'm just going to go into the edit view for the post and you'll normally see when you're using uh, WordPress this view which is the what you see is what you get editor um, but we're going to go into the HTML view over here so we can see the code. So I'm going to find the place on the page that I want the Facebook buttons to appear in. Just add a little bit of space. So you can see that where the cursor is, that's where I want the Facebook uh, stuff to go. Now, when you're trying to find the code that you need to put in, uh, you've got to understand that you can't do this with a standard Facebook profile page. You've got to have a business page or a fan page uh, set up in our case, in our company's uh, case, we've got Rudy Web Design set up as uh, a page up here. So to get the code that's going to link through to our page on Facebook, just do a search up at the top for like button and you'll see it appears as top result. Not always, sometimes you might have to dig around for it, but this is the page that you want to find on Facebook where you get the like button. Which URL to like? Well, we want visitors to our blog post on our website to actually like our Facebook page so we can grow our following. So I'm going to copy the URL, the address at the top, and I'm then going to paste it into this box here. I want to include the send button. You don't have to. Uh, the layout style, we've got a few options to choose from. I'm going to stick with standards. The width, 450. I'm fine with that. Show faces, no. Let's leave the faces off. Um, light codes, well, it goes in with my light page. So all I need to do is just get the code, copy it all, and go back over to WordPress. Let's just close that down. Go back over to WordPress and paste the code into that place there. Now this is important to remember, don't flip back over to the what you see is what you get editor. Don't click the visual button if you're tempted to see what it looks like. You can either preview it by clicking this button or set it live. I'm confident enough to think that that's worked okay so I'm going to set it live by clicking update. Now I'll view the post and if I scroll down there it is.